In this video, we will show you how to customize your invoice emails. From the dashboard screen, we'll move up to our invoicing module and choose configure from the drop down menu. We'll then select email settings tab to bring us to our external delivery settings. Now, in order to customize our subject lines or the body of our emails, we do use the handlebar syntax. Please feel free to reference the corresponding knowledge base article for additional information in regards to common codes and references that we use. So all we need to do is paste it in. Now, I will want to add the word for in order to make my subject line a complete sentence. I'll go ahead and paste in the code for client legal name, move down to message, and we will put hi, client legal name, comma, now, I do want to go ahead and point out that spacing is important when we're setting up our template. The spacing that you have here on this screen is a direct reflection of what will be sent over to your client. To take a look at what will be sent over, we can save here, close out, again, go up to invoicing from our navigation bar. This time we'll choose overview. We will want to select an invoice that's already been finalized or that's in the draft phase. I'm going to select our project for technology consulting for Stark Industries by clicking on the hyperlink for the amount of the invoice. This will then take us to our invoice screen. And in order to see what the template will populate, we're going to go ahead and click on the envelope icon to email this invoice. Now, as you can see, it now shows invoice number 1234 for Stark Industries, which is what we added in our email template, as well as High Stark Industries Incorporated. Now, again, you can see that the spacing that I have in our email template is a direct reflection of what will be sent out to our client. Once I've decided which PDF style I want to send, I can simply go ahead and email the invoice over to my client. That's it for email template customizations.